Bonjour, welcome along to LS11 here on Radio why Yorkshire. French? Why not French? <laughs> You've ruined it now. No, I just didn't know why French. <laughs> Hola, welcome along to Radio... <laughs> Hello, welcome along to LS11 on Radio Yorkshire. The two Toms with you once again previewing the upcoming game on FIFA 18. It's going to be Leeds hosting Norwich. Tom Cardiff joins me, Tom McGuire. Good afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Hello. 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 How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Enjoy. From a snowy London town. Yes, yes. Uh, nearly got stuck in London over the weekend, so that was fun. Um, Tubes can't work underground. Yeah. In the yeah. Couldn't work out why, but uh, Leeds won. On Saturday, so it's all worth it, really. Yeah, so it's all fine. We'll, we'll we'll review the game, but overall impressions, good performance. Yeah, two thumbs up, two Ooh. thumbs up. Right, here we go. I've had a bit of a bad run past couple of weeks, but we'll see how we get on. I'm flipping the coin. I've Co- not won a coin toss in ages. Tails, his head streak goes on. For God's sake! Um, I'm gonna have to go with Norwich because they're just you know Norwich. Yeah, that, that's them. I'll go with Leeds then. All right. Oh, I'm worried now, Island Road. Right, so QPR, a yeah. 3-1 win. Yeah. Shame about the uh, lacking of a clean sheet, but... Well, it's Felix's Ma- fault. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll come on to that. Yeah. Came out roof, a man who I've consistently said, look, if he starts scoring goals and looks confident, he could be a star in the championship. Here he is, scored three goals. He needs to kick on, though, for me. Yeah, three shots, three goals, can't really complain. That's true. And if, if, if from the looks of it, he will start in the striker position. Yeah, here at the East Point Arena, it's... Uh... Obviously, he's got a hat trick there already. Two two hat tricks already this season. To be fair to him, uh, table's a bit different now. Leads to seventh, I think. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, great for him. Uh, obviously, considering as well that he only played the striking role from forty minutes onwards, so yeah. he only really played that striker role for an hour um, to get the opportunities he did and put them away. Fantastic and three really good goals as well. Yeah. Crosses from either side and then one from the, from the middle. Great afternoon for him. Just. It's just a shame about the circumstances that led to it in terms of Ekiban going off injured. And yeah, so but that's Roof why Ekiban it. obviously isn't in. Re- Roof's there, and that's the sort of lineup we're risking Pablo. I we're think reco- he'll be back by now. Yeah, we're recording this late on Monday evening, so we've yet to find out, obviously, the full details of what's going on, but that's the predicted team for us. Let us know your starting 11s, of course, in the comments as before. Norwich, however, we've kind of... It's, it's same as last same week. Same as last week. Same yeah. as the uh, victory over uh, Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, Canaries fans, let us know what you're, you think if you are watching. And if you, you're not, well, I won't blame you. It's LS11. We do leads. All leads, aren't we? But Norwich are here today. <laughs> All Norwich, aren't they? Yeah. Canaries. Well, Norwich fame is just for Alan Partridge, really. Delia Smith. That's it. Yellow that. and other things. Alan Partridge. Well, that's pretty much it, isn't it? That's that's them. That's pretty much it. Pablo giving it loads in the team talk. Here we go. Right. Um, but yeah, so coming back to QPR, bit of a shame about Akiban then. Because yeah. he'd only just kind of come... It seemed like he'd only just come back. Yeah, and he'd been playing well as well. That's the thing. Um, it's unfortunate for him. You, you're wondering if it is a... Hello. Um, if it is, obviously he's aggravated that previous injury. You hope there's not like a long-standing problem that maybe Leeds didn't know about him in terms of injuries. It's very, very unknown at the moment. So we'll have to kind of wait and see what what happens with that. Um, hopefully it's not too long, but you fear immediately that it, it might be. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but we've heard nothing else from Saturday where all Christensen could say was, "Well, we don't, we don't, we don't really know." To be honest, because it's obviously only just happened. Um, fingers crossed, he's all right. Because, like I said, he's been unlucky with injuries this season. And yeah, he's been he's been pretty decent when he's been uh, playing. He's looked oof, and he's, he's looked, looked all good. right, isn't he? He's looked good on he's it. Looks all right, yeah. So and you just felt like once he got that goal, he might start kicking on because he's in you know his play in the build up to chances. He slotted in really well with the uh, free behind him as well. Um, but annoyingly, it's one of those things. And I suppose the positive is KMR Roof went up front in the absence. Pavel Chibitsky went on the wing, and Roof got the hat trick. Um, yeah, Chibitsky was barely adding it. Good lord! Well, I was kicked out there, ref. Ran through me like and Kelvin at back. What happened there with the Norwich defence? Ooh, swinging arms! I can't remember. What I was about to ask you something. I can't remember now. Oh yeah, Chibitsky. We barely see him. Yeah, uh, he, it's like he came on, you know, ponytail and all, skinny guy, but he did okay. Yeah, 
It was odd. He looked like he was scared of the ball when he didn't have it. And when he had the ball, he was like, right, see, I'm taking people on. And great cross in for the second goal. Um, great, obviously, for his league debut to get an assist. Um, because him, Matthijs Click as well, two players that are often the examples of, well, where are they? Leeds have signed them, they've not played. Well, we're seeing, uh, you know, Klitsch's gif. You could, talk, we could, you could read all that in, into that you want, but... I'd be frustrated if I wasn't being played. Well, he travelled with a squad um, on penalty. Um, he travelled with a squad on Saturday, but didn't make the uh, line-up. I asked Christiansen about it afterwards, and he says, well, you know, Chubitsky should really send out a message to everyone else not involved. The, you know, the chances will come. You've got to really take them when the chances do come, which Phil Chubitsky did. And based on that, you, you fancy him to be involved in some aspect against Norwich, whether that be out wide if they're not risking Pablo or if Pablo can't play, if um, if they want to do the same, bring him off the bench, whatever. But you feel that you, it was probably justified for him to get at least another place in the squad for this weekend. So you don't, you think to, so? Yeah. Um, but I don't know if he's, a stri- if he's a striker. Maybe he was better on the wing. Apparently he plays. he's better out wide... Um, which kind of showed obviously that um, him coming on pushed uh, oh oh, oh. Oh, I meant to capitalise on that Uh, he changed it pushed Roof up front Alioski went to the left Chubitsky played on the right but they did change around a bit and that kind of obviously went from Leeds having wingers who were oh wrong place Uh, who were cutting in and taking shots from now a left footer out on the left a right footer out on the right and they could cross balls in and as we saw Roof made the most of the crosses in by getting two goals but you say um, something he's not really a big man yeah he did well you know what the, the first goal was a great cross from Alioski he's weighted perfectly right to Roof who got up headed it past Smithies who was just rooted to his line uh, second one again managed to use his pace to get there first um, and capitalise and score and then the third goal great goal took it really well um, but yeah in the right positions and combine that with good crosses obviously led to the, led to the goal so overall uh, positive in an attacking sense I think Saiz probably should have had one by his standards oh no oh what oh. Oh. by his standards maybe not up to what he was used to or yeah. what we're used to but such is life leads one in the end Say la vie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Say la vie. Um, I, I think for for one, we need to talk about the goalkeeping situation. We'll come on to it about how they're going to deal with January. We've talked a little bit about January in previous FIFA videos, but uh, Viedvold with another mistake. It was shocking. If I, if I re- shocking. I believe I read an article, probably pre-game, uh, something about nine errors that cost goals. It's shocking. It's shocking. I understand he made a save. What's going on in the middle of the pit? Oh, I paused it. What are you doing? I'm on the attack here. (laughs) Sorry. Um, I understand he made a save afterwards. But at the end of the day, he should not have made the mistake which allowed QPR to... um, To... Get in. Get get that chance. Yeah. It was a shocking, shocking error. Um, I'm all for obviously trying to be positive around the team. There's a positive vibe against now they're out of the the form, but that that's just atrocious goalkeeping penalty. That was a great tackle. Don't penalty me for was, that one. It was <laughs> shocking goalkeeping. That yeah. it's there's no excuse for it. You're coming out to claim the ball. That is an absolute howler. And how many times are we gonna have to see mistakes from him? It if it's not blatantly oh. obviously, it's probably need a goalkeeper in January. I don't know what is because. It's happening far too often. Yeah, so in January, if I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, you've got, obviously, Bailey Peacock Farrell, still too young. Maybe give him a shot. That's in a fun, thank you. Maybe give him a shot in the FA Cup. Maybe. Lonergan not. is, well, I think I'd prefer, I'd still prefer Lonergan. I don't know. The experience of him, maybe. Again, it's not a great choice to have. It's not an ideal No offence to Andy or, or Felix, but, you know... You, well, at the end of the day... We, we, we work in a results industry. They've had chances. And, How cliche do I sound in that? And they've had chances, and there are many mistakes. And again, I understand Felix recovered himself quite well by what? making the save, but they shouldn't have had the situation. If he did not make that save and Leeds drew 2-2, then I can assure you now that that draw would probably be at the hands of Felix Viedveld. Yeah, definitely. Um... And, you know, we could say, oh, Sae should have buried the chance before, whatever. But at the end of the day, it was a shocking, shocking error from him. Um, again, I've said in 
January, I'd be going to Liverpool and asking about Ward, who was at Huddersfield last year, seeing if you could take him for the rest of the season, saying he's you know he's going to play. Um, he's going to, you know, we're, like Huddersfield, we're hoping to get promoted as well, etc., etc. He's not involved at Liverpool. We'll have him. Um, but I'm not, I'm not even sure if they will get a goalkeeper in January, you know, because I, I don't think with Felix and Andy coming in in the summer... Oh! I just don't think they will. No. But it's going to cost It's going to cost the team more and more. Well, it's going to cost... Feel it I feel like it's going to cost whatever Leeds go for now because they, they, they know... It's like Liverpool with them um, going for Van Dijk and them seeking a centre-back as well, yeah? They're going to... It's going to be... Fee is going to be exponentially yeah. higher because they know they need one. Yeah. Same with Leeds United and goalkeepers, so they're going to have to be willing to spend. But that's what I mean. Why we, we go to like Liverpool and get sort of the third choice there is Championship standard who's not playing. But he's still he's still a very good established yeah. from last year keeper. And you just but say he just we'll hasn't take, played, so we'll maybe, take him for yeah. the rest of the year. Yeah. Whatever, maybe that's the route you go. But for me, <laughs> it's great trying to stay positive, but it's a serious, serious issue. And Saturday, it's not the first time it's happened. If it was his only howler of the season. It's you know like what, Rob Green. Go. No, no, it's like Rob Green. He made a couple of mistakes at the start of last season, yeah. right? And people, Leeds fans, were calling for a different keeper. You know, Brute or uh, Silvestre. Well, he came good, and it's. I think about back to the uh, the amount of saves he made at Newcastle, and you managed to get a late equaliser. Yeah. So it was Rob Green was a pivotal part of that. So you'd be thinking, hopefully. But it's now. It was the night for December that game. And he's still making mistakes. Exactly. It's not. It's like I said. If it was the first time, you can forgive it and go right. Everyone makes mistakes. But now you're going. So you're trying to work out how many mistakes is that now? Like I say, I think I, I think he's. Uh, I read a. St- don't quote me on it, but I read an article and they were talking about nine goal key- goal conceding errors. That's a lot. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and we're not even half. Well, are we halfway through this season? Well, I think we're not yet. We're nearly. nearly there. Yeah. But that's what I mean, it's now, it, it's constantly happening. And my worry is that they won't bring in a goalkeeper and I think it's it might be a big, big issue for them going forward because you can't be uh, a, a promotion contender inside if your goalkeeper is making basic errors constantly. And that's what I mean, Saturday I could not believe it watching him that oh my God. it was not even close and it's basics coming out to gather a ball and uh, I couldn't believe it and it was the fact then if they went and scored Leeds threw away a comfortable 2-0 victory and could have drew 2-2 and how different things would have looked after that um, but they didn't in the end you know Ruth bailed them out a bit I think after yeah that. we're talking about if mums and baby, ba- uh, babies maybe's uh, I'm alright we're not if... talking about babies uh, but <laughs> sorry different show, different show. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's talk a little bit about Norwich then. Uh, obviously, came out roof, as we say, so putting him at the front. Um, why, I mean, you've got Le Soggan. I understand that's probably why he hasn't been able to play up at front on his own. But I remember back when he got the good start to the season, he was talking to Jim White on a national uh, sports radio station and uh, saying, uh, you know, he's hoping that he'll be able to play more centrally. Well, why is TC not giving him that ch- chance until recently? Well, for so La Soga. La Soga, yeah. Um, Ekiban came back. He was obviously giving Ekiban a chance. He must have been pressed in training, whatever. For me, if La Soga is fit this weekend, I, I'd say bench, maybe. Um, but that's a big if, he's, if he can, because it, it'd be very, very harsh for me. KMR Roof coming off the back of a hat trick away to win a game, and then you drop him just because another striker who hasn't played in weeks is back. I'd say stick with Roof for this one. Um, well, the Roof is on fire. He's well. He's he's earned a place. Um, you know, really, if he's if he's scoring a hat trick and ooh, if he's scoring a hat trick and then getting dropped the next week, bit unfair. He's gonna be asking, well, what what else do I have to do to get a place in the starting team? Like, what what else do I have to do? That is. Does that have to be five? <laughs> well, that's what I mean. I'm I'm a forward. I'm required to score goals. I played up front to score goals. I score goals. Oh, got it. He's got it. Easy. Oh, Sam Hussain. He's just magical, isn't he? Yeah. What a player. Um, also, news today that Leeds is signing um, a Japanese midfielder as well. In January, yeah. Yeah, going to be loaned straight out, though, because of work permit issues. I, I don't actually, I've not read that about that, but um, I will. If you want to read about that, Radio Yoshida, yes, all on there. As well as that, Thomas Christensen speaking to this handsome devil. 
uh, him, not me. Um, <laughs> like I have to uh, clearly. Uh, and then um, oh, thanks. But obviously you had to move the camera. <laughs> yeah, it was a media scrum, so I was like, all oh, right, hang on, it's not a press conference. It was freezing. You could tell we're all just like. Let's just get this done with, and let's all go upstairs where it's warm. Yeah, I like the idea of that. You know, all right, it's Baltic out. Let's uh, host it outside. Yeah, there's a lovely press room upstairs, but let's do it outside where it's freezing. Um, but yeah, got touch line. Oh, go on. My word. Oh. oh. Go on. Go over, over, over. Get over him. Right now, Lioski. All right. The next time I'm on ball, I'll make some changes. Uh, th- uh, Norwich Wise, who's uh, the defense? Who's the, the defensive threat? Who's the threat? I should say. Um, they've still got a decent squad. That's it. They've got some good individual. You're offside. Oh, he's just caught. He's just flagged it. I see. My word. Oh, that is tight. Um, yeah, they've got individual talent. We look at it there. You know, the Madison Pritchard as well. Oliveira up front as well. Who will have? They've got. A plethora of talent has just not worked out from this season um, as well as they probably would have hoped. Um, so, yeah, it, it's it's difficult um, because on paper that side should be doing a lot better than they are. Yeah. But they're not. Um, so they're still going to have threats throughout. You know, the talent is there. Leeds, as we saw against Villa, played one half, uh, struggled in the second half. They could... could um, could obviously be a, a replica of that. Oh my word, Brody, what are you doing? Um, but um, at the same time, this is obviously leads in their winnable run of games. They started it with a win at QPR. They'll want to get to Ellen Road and it's win. It's a Christiansen Christmas. And yes. I think um, we talked about it, 18 points up for grabs, 12 would be a great yeah, return. Yeah, plus would be brilliant. They now need only well, nine. Nine, nine yeah. from those. Um, but again, it's, you know, it's... Uh, oh, get out. Oh, no. It's, uh, you know, it should be a good month. And if... Oh, there you go. If Leeds want to be where they want to be, you know, they should be looking at this and thinking, right, here we go. We can get some real points this month. It was a great game last year as well. Uh, the final home game of the season. Yeah. 3-3, three, three, wasn't it? It's just Brilliant. a shame Leeds can go that one further yep. and win the game. Pablo what? Hernandez's free kick. Oh! What's going on, Paul? Oh, no. Um, yeah, if Leeds went on it and won it, that would have been remarkable. It would have taken, obviously, the playoff race down to the final day. Um, but, yeah, uh, fantastic last time. Different circumstances, obviously, this time, but... Oh, damn it. Great defending cream. Oh! oh. Go on, isn't it? No, oh, happy days. Um, but, yeah, you know, as we said, Leeds will, Leeds will fancy that this one. Um, Ellen Road, they should be looking to beat everyone at Ellen Road, really, if they are to be a top six side. And coming off the back of, or getting out of that form now, that terrible run of form. They've got to be the confidence has got to be there especially after uh, going away and, and winning last week yeah it's always good to get one over Ian Holloway though isn't it <laughs> well he said came our roof barely looking like Peaky Blinders I, I'd rather be Leeds with the tweet of the weekend yes. for me well done <laughs> well done him brilliant he's absolutely brilliant um, although to be fair actually no I'm going to take that back I'm so- get oh. in I'm going to take that back because um, I don't want to be Leeds. Great, great tweet. Yeah, the well, tweet well, of the weekend was the picture, uh, the video, I should say, of the dog barking. Yes. And celebrating. Great. I don't. Oh, I can't remember it, but you'll know. Search LUFC dog on it's Twitter. On a, it's you'll radio, find it's it. It's on already. What's your timeline? I think. Well. Barking on together. Yes. It's brilliant. Oh, I'm really bad at FIFA. It seems these um, past couple of weeks. But yeah, uh, like well, you see, where were QPR? Because you're so steep. And in the press pit, you're right at the back. You can't really see the touchline at all. You had to kind of lean forward to see the action close to that, that touchline. So I missed, I completely missed Ian Holloway's outfit until I saw it on Twitter after. And, oh, it's a belter, wasn't it? You could tell he left the house. And it kid, was something. His kids were going, yeah, yeah, you look great. Yeah, yeah. You look great. It's different. Yeah, yeah. It's different. It's not too young for me, is it? No, no, no. No, no, fine. Ian, you look great. What are you doing? Get your bits, go. What I'd like is the idea of his... Ah. Oh. I like the idea of his wife just going like this. What on earth yeah. are you doing? You're wearing that out. Yes. All oh, right. It's Why? Not, it's not a cosplay for Peaky Blinders. Uh, no. 
Another Leeds win. Another Tom Cardiff win. Get in. Buzz in. Yeah. Buzz in. Okay, score prediction for the game at Ellen Road, Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff. 3 1 Leeds, I'm staying with this. You can say 3 1. 3 1 Leeds. Yes. I'm going to go 2 0. Leeds win. Nice. I think 2 0. I think Roof will get another. And then I think maybe maybe that man, Samu Saiz, mainly because I like him a lot. <laughs> oh, who doesn't? He's but, brilliant. He's wonderful. Oh, here's, a, here's a Christmas early Christmas gift for Leeds fans. Barada to score at Ellen Road. It nah, be, I, I, it has to be... Playoff final. <laughs> yeah, Wembley, 90th minute, just volleys it in from 30 yards. And then just like, I don't know. Imagine the just chaos. Just the refs here Imagine the, ca- the chaos that would descend. Just ends up sliding through an electronic advertising board. But, throwing you know. a steward out the way to jump in the in the lead half of the stadium yeah probably oh, let us know your score let us know your score predictions in the comments let us know your thoughts starting 11s and all that uh, abuse and all that uh, coming my way from the Norwich fans no worries make sure you uh, follow us at Radio Underscore Yorkshire to do that I can't believe I missed that first time but anyway what's Felix doing whoa <sighs> anyway Tom until next time bye yes